be an incredible race. No position is actually secure at the moment. Guillaume Price at the moment, for me, is the best player in the world. The four man in the Premier League. Michael Smith demolishes Peter Wright. Demolishes Peter Wright. Just two points separate third down to fifth. This is a massive player, the game needs him. There's £10,000 to be won. I don't want to give anybody an easy ride. Gerwin Bryce. I know I'm in a good place. Fingers crossed it keeps going for the next couple of weeks. Make the playoffs, then hopefully lift this trophy. If I turn up with my A game, I'm tough to beat. Goran Price is a world champion. Goran Price, again, is another winner. It's proven that he's one of the best star players that's played the game. You know, it proves that week in, week out. The streaming, the shouting, the muscles. I love playing Gezi. So serious when he's playing. Gives it the big on stage, but away from me. He's a lovely lad. Where he's come from, his rugby background, to, to where he's in the world of darts, it's credit to him as an all-round sports person. Do you feel the Premier League is a tournament that you've never done your complete best in? 100%. I have never qualified for the playoffs. Would you please welcome making his Premier League debut, the Iceman, Gorwin! Gerwin Price really has hit the big time. Quite incredible that five years ago he didn't even own a set of darts. It's a bitter, bitter blow for a disappointed Gerwin Price. It could be Price. another early night for Gerwin Price. For a 7 1 Does Gerwin Price's woes just carry on? The nightmare is over for Gerwin Price. To be honest, with you, when I first started playing Premier League, the first year was a bit of a culture shock for me, the travelling, and thought I'd never wanted to play Premier League again. He's not got fond memories of the Premier League from last year. He's not been in great form since he won the Grand Slam. I thought I'd give it another go. But for some reason, just couldn't take to the travelling and, and the playing week in, week out, going to pro tours. And that really could be Tatar and farewell. Gerwin Price, who cuts a figure of frustration as he leaves the Manchester stage. Yes, the Premier League is back, but the big news here today is that the world number one and world champion Gerwin Price is not here. Sadly, he tested positive for COVID-19, so we're playing no part in this year's tournament. Yeah, I had to isolate and sit in the house and watch bits of Premier League and be gutted that I couldn't play. It's a campaign to forget for Gerwin Price, but it's happened too often now. Too often now. I'm expecting his best campaign ever yet, whether he wins it or not. Just to focus on the darts and that, that'll bring out the best in Gezi. I've played some really good darts in this year's Premier League, I think. But I think I've got a lot more in the tank and a lot more to come. I'm a winner. I'm, I'm someone who just hates losing no matter what's riding on it. Yeah, I know a lot of people that lived here forever. I grew up here, so I already know everyone from here. So it's, when you come home, it's sort of chill out and everyone sort of leaves you alone. Okay, so this is where the mini rugby started many moons ago. <laughs> I would like to have another game, but she won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. Do was different with rugby. He's just like a normal person, but dart is just totally different. Never expect it. Because when he first started, he's like, oh, I think I'm going to go for my tour card. I'm like, Oh, really? Because I, I don't like change, like anything like that. And then obviously you think about money, because obviously when like the season would finish with rugby, they'd like just be on my wage. Yeah, no. So it was a bit like. But yeah, she, she, she was. I said I'm gonna go and play darts. She was like, no, no, no. And I never like that. Rugby. So say, no, I say, oh, I might go back to rugby. And she's like, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I ever wanted to do. I never wanted to go to school. Never wanted to go to college. Just rugby, rugby, rugby. This is where I mate started up the Friday Night League, where I first found out I could throw a half decent dart. Yeah, sort of, I think I'd done two seasons in, in year on a Friday night, played a bit of Super League, but not in year in another venue. And now there's academy running from this same venue every Wednesday. Hopefully, there could be another world champion coming out of, the, out of this club. So I won my tour card 2014, I played in the match play with, I think I was my first TV appearance in 2015 and I did well there, beat Michael Smith, Adrian Lewis. I, I lost heavily to Peter Wright, I think in a quarter-final. 
And then I think the next year, then 2016, I was thinking, I need to pick and choose. Oh, what, do I want to stick to darts or still play rugby? And it was a good time for me to get out of rugby. I wasn't getting any younger. I think I'd missed the boat. Well, I sort of knew I'd missed the boat. And money was getting better for me in darts. And I couldn't afford any injuries either because I was starting doing some decent money. I thought, yeah, just jack the rugby in. It doesn't matter if I'm playing on stage in the Winter Garden, if I'm playing Premier League in Cardiff, or if I'm playing my mate in pool at my local for nothing. I, I, I hate losing at anything. I, I'm just one of those competitive sportsmen that no matter what I do, I just want to win. But forget him in price, the Premier League's never been really for him. This one he's been dominant, he's been the best player, I think it's vital he finishes top. Is it that way or...? Kevin Price at the minute is just consistently better than the rest for me. Oh. What are you doing, colleague? What do you say to that? Yeah, 1-0. One, one, <laughs> We have three weeks to go with Manchester, Sheffield and Aberdeen to decide our semi-finalists. For Peter Rice, a lost cause, but he could be a spoiler. Johnny Clayton, he has three weeks to secure a spot in the playoffs. For a big win for Johnny Clayton and he gets that big win, he's had to battle throughout. A key two points for Johnny Clayton. Chris Doby snaps a long Premier League losing streak and keeps the flickering hopes of a playoff place alive. Johnny now possibly overtaking the loser of this match. Oh, what a dart! Michael Smith progresses to giant step closer to the playoffs of the O2. Sit back, relax and enjoy this clash of the Tungsten Titans. We've seen the turning of the tide in Manchester. He wants tops and he really shakes up what we thought was the status quo. Price threw well there, mid-hundreds average there most of the match. For MVG, it really tightens things back at the top <laughs> <Yeah>. again. Really? <laughs> Great opportunity this for Johnny Clayton. A win, he goes into the top four. Well, he got there in the end. Johnny Clayton is into another final. I've been in Smith's corner for a number of weeks and I'm, every now and again I'm right. Needs to treble. Gets the treble, he wants tops to finish off Van Gerwen in some style. Do you think it is that sort of click for Michael Smith? He's certainly playing better than he was, say, four weeks ago. He's winning big titles now, Michael Smith. He won the Grand Slam, he won the World, he'll want to add this to it as well. Johnny Clayton, the winner in weeks nine and ten. Smith, the winner in weeks three and thirteen. That is the win for Michael Smith. Over the moon. It could have all gone wrong tonight if I lost to Nathan and then I'm sat in fifth place. Now, I guess it relaxed. Now it makes that kind of race for top spot, race for second spot, even more interesting as well. Is it difficult to get yourself up every Thursday night just to take on, as you say, what is in effect a mini tournament? No, it is hard on the road all the time, but you know, when you're there, you're fully concentrated, you give 100%, but it's tough, the travelling can be tough. I've never really felt any pressure. Even as when I won the World Championship, afterwards, I'd, no, I didn't feel any pressure at all. I'd won a World Championship. If I'd never win one again, I'd, I'd be known as a world champion and, and a world number one. But I never really put any pressure on myself. You have to sacrifice a lot. You're, you're on the road, especially boys in the top eight doing the Premier League and in all the World Series and every event. That's, is, that's your life. You do, you, you, barely have time for anything else and you have to be committed so yeah and, and it's a good thing if you're if you're away you're playing you're, you're in everything you know you're earning a lot of money but yeah it's a, it's a lot of sacrifices and you need to be you need to be ready for it yeah this is the house we're building i demolished the property that was here and then rebuilt it from scratch okay. This is my favourite bit, this nice open gallery area. 
nice big chandelier, but it's nice to have a bit of, bit more space. So this is the kitchen, a fair bit off, but you can't buy that view, like. The house is going to be like eco-friendly, thermal heating, all the heat will come out of the ground. Some solar panels got all, going on, which is a lot greener and which is a lot better, I think. Yeah, it's nice to actually be able to just design something and just build it from scratch and put everything in here that you really, what I would want in a property, so I put my own touches on it. Yeah, it's just um, took a lot longer than expected, but it'll be worth it in the end, like. We're here obviously at Sheffield and it's a bit of a race for fourth spot between uh, Johnny Clayton and Nathan Aspinall. Who's going to clinch it? Can anyone catch Gerwin Price? All very exciting. Tonight I think Johnny Clayton. Now I've said all along Nathan Aspinall was a fighter but he has got Gerwin Price and Gerwin Price is in top form. If Van Gerwen gets beaten, Price goes on and wins the night. He wins the, the league phase as well. So he's got all that going on and he's never qualified before. There's a lot going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> Averaging 111. That was incredible. Right. Thank you. No, I didn't know. Ask Timmy. Ask Timmy how oh, was in the practice room, honestly. Chris Dobie wins the battle of the cellar dwellers. The win, isn't it? That's more than the average of me. <laughs> you whisper it quietly, Michael Smith is still chasing top spot as well. If he can win again here. Oh, he's the world champ, and he's shown once again that he is world class. Make no mistake, this is a very big match for Johnny Clayton. He's looking for the bullseye. Oh, wow, Johnny Clayton. Double A to reach the semis. But more importantly, to pick up at least two Premier League points. Get him in price. If he carries on, yes, he'll win the night, but carrying on is difficult. The price is just consistently very, very good. Superb. And an eighth final in this year's Premier League together with Price. A mouth-watering prospect ahead. That is quality. That's 4-4. Michael Smith wraps up a terrific win over Johnny Clay. So who's your winner then on night 15? They've both been, in recent weeks, by far the best two players in this Premier League. Well, incredible tension in this final. And what a way to wrap it up. And Michael Smith, the world champion, makes it three Premier League night wins on the spin. They're under pressure because they know I'm, I'm winning the last couple of weeks and managed to cross that line when I needed to. I'm in every single tournament to win and whether I go out first round or in the final, I'm not happy, I hate losing. Massive, massive night. The real big fight is that fight for four spot. Johnny Clayton, Nathan Aspinall. Clayton knows if he wins the game, he's in the top four and maintains his record of always making the playoffs. Nathan needs to win it and then win the semi-final as well if he's going to maintain his record. And if you were to make a prediction? Nathan's just walked past me, I'm saying Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I want to win tonight, but I know for me this season was just getting the playoffs, switching the top four. I'm happy I'm, I'm, I'm on to London next week. How did you go with Junior last week? How was it football or rugby? Rugby. First game, so he's gone in for a tackle, got it wrong in the tackle. He's come off, he was winning 2 1, and he scored 2 all. Done like a 30 minute match. He said, Junior, come on, you've got to back on him. I can't, my legs sore, he's crying. He said, Study pulling my weight, listen, we're not quitters, we're fighting, we're not quit. A minute left, he goes right and red dead. Goes to his coach, runs him straight on. Next minute, ball gets played out, so back him straight through, scores winner. Very much, 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 for the Iceman so far, the Premier League has been pretty much perfect. For Snakebite, however, the campaign has been a write-off. This is the wrap-up of 6-2 victory, and that is a clinical display from Genwin Price. This is the game that will either 
guarantee Johnny Clayton a spot in the top four or give Nathan a chance of stealing it off him. Johnny Clayton, it wasn't his night, but it's not over yet. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Through it all. yeah. And then I spoke to Gary and he's like, just f throw him. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what, I don't care if I win. I'm just going to yeah. go up there and I'm going to throw my darts there fast. Yeah. But then we score and we're good. Yeah. So I'm like, well, maybe this is. Yeah. <laughs> One to go. One more. <laughs> Got to make it worth it now, Annie. You don't, you don't want to win that to then still finish fifth. Unfortunately, one of you will miss out. They all be anyway. <laughs> Can Vandenberg turn the tide here? Because this going to be a railroading by the world champ. Two at tops, which he despises. He likes it now, all right. And Dimitri Vandenberg causes a big, big upset in Aberdeen. Well done, man. Four meetings this Premier League season, two wins apiece, and includes that 6 0 whitewash win for Dobie. And that is the end of it. Immediately the hand goes to the shoulder. He is very clearly struggling. It is quite simply a playoff for the playoffs, isn't it? And Gerwin Price beats Nathan Aspinall, but most importantly, he sends his Welsh World Cup teammate Johnny Clayton on a trip to the O2 Arena in London. The final match before finals night, as Van Gerwen did not play the semi-final due to that shoulder injury, and Van der Berg got a bye through to play Price. Every time I finish, like fifth, sixth, never ever finish. Finish top of the league, the only year, uh, you don't get. <laughs> we finish off here in Aberdeen with a last leg shootout. Dimitri Vandenberg waits 15 weeks. He gets his nightly win. Been chasing that win the whole tournament, like every week in, week out. What an extreme feeling that I've got right now. You've got no idea, but I am so one and up now. Go on. <laughs> He's ended the campaign well, hasn't he? And I think that's all he came here to do tonight. He's had a bit of luck because he rarely beats Michael Van Goon to get that buy and get the final one. Great for him. Gerwin Price proving yet again he is the man to beat in this Premier League. He is, yeah. He's rightly goes to the finals next week as the number one seed. He's finished top of the table. It's the first time he's had a clean campaign, a clear shot at it. He's never really done himself justice. He, his first campaign didn't even win. He's withdrawn from one. He's never got to the playoffs. I think if he'd have been offered the playoffs at the start of the season, he'd have taken it. He's gone in at top spot and he's the favourite for the title and rightly so. You're today doing a bit of media ready to play tomorrow comes part and parcel with your job, to do photos and whatever else, chill out, no pressure and just enjoy myself. <laughs> Down here at the O2 today, doing the dart special. 140. <laughs> Meeting a few of the players. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow, but it's going to be a tough one. Chatting on our podcast, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Michael, welcome along to the podcast. If you want to be in the Premier League, you've got to be prepared for the things that follow it. It is part of parcel, you can't have one thing without the other. Guys, <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be bouncing in there tomorrow night, and you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm smiling on my face, I'm here in the last four, it's all that counts. <laughs> it's, not my, it's not my top of my list of media days, but it's part of the job. You have to do it. So, yeah, depends what questions they ask me. Other than the Worlds, which is the other major you'd want to win, I want the Prem. So I think I'll be the fourth person to win the Worlds and the Prem in the same year. I've met Michael Van Gerwen before, um, which was interesting. I met him in Charlie Adams' box at Stoke. And that was the last time I've seen him, actually, so catching up with him today was good. How are you, mate? you win a nine-dart challenge. <laughs> Just talk us through that. <laughs> well, it was a awful standard. I've never seen the lights! <laughs> but <laughs> I was the best of a bad bunch. Oh! <laughs> Our champion for today, it's Peter the Robot Crowd! <laughs>
After 16 weeks, it all ends here in the capital tonight. Four players battling it out for the right to be crowned the premier player on Planet Dart. Planet Dart. Planet Dart. We're going to tonight with four players and nobody can confidently say they know who's going to win. I think he's a, he's a real plus. We always say we get to the O2 that you rip up the script, you start with a completely blank piece of paper. It's amazing, it's the biggest venue we play in. There's a couple of teams in the Premier League football that don't have stadiums this big. The league means nothing. It means one night. I've done it before and I think I can do it again. I've never been here before but I'm fully focused and I play better when the pressure's on. I had some good preparation towards this final so that's what you need to do if you want to uh, perform me on 100%. It's going to be a hard task. The guy's just going to go up there and do his job. I've got to concentrate on my job and try and get over the line. Don't really think about Johnny's game, don't think about whoever I'm playing, nothing else really matters. The 19th Premier League finals night, and on 12 of the previous 18, the table topper has gone on to win the big prize. Gerwin Price tonight aims to extend that record, but if he does so, he'll be the first league leader to trouser the big check since Glenn Durant in 2020. And it's looking ominous for Johnny Clayton, fired without reply, Price is halfway there. For a sensational finish to a sensational performance, and Gerwin Price, the Iceman, red hot in the semi-finals. Now this is where you're playing best four years in the Premier League and you're also playing an animal like Van Gerwen. <laughs> it's always nice to play Mike Smith, I think a fantastic player for, for darts. But he also has his weak moments, and I need to make sure I find him to make him hurt. A full house at the O2 for a repeat of the World Championship final. Michael Van Gerwen, four consecutive blags. Van Gerwen, relentless. Bullseye. Oh, That's it. it! That is incredible! And look at the celebration! Take that, he says, take that in a dramatic semi-final. The crowd obviously wanted Smith to win, but Van Gerwen held it all together beautifully. Gerwin Price came into finals night at the O2 as, as the hot favourite. Uh, can he justify that tag or can Michael Van Gerwen win it again? It comes alive at the O2, simple as that. The curtain about to come down on an epic 2023 Premier League darts campaign. This is the 17th night and this is the 114th and most important match. They go for it, the bullseye, Michael Van Gerwen! The Big Fish trademark finish. Bullseye! Price back on the board. Double nine. And Michael Van Gerwen is in seventh heaven at the O2 Arena. A record-breaking seventh Premier League title for MVG eclipsing the legendary Phil Taylor's Hall of Six. I think I played some fantastic darts today. What more can you wish, you know what I mean, to win this trophy? I'm not done yet. I love what I do and there's more to come. I think the Premier League campaign it always delivers, doesn't it? I mean, there's always a bit of scrutiny at the beginning with the selections, but those players equipped themselves well. Some would like to have done better than others, but it's culminated in a great finals night and where the defending champion found a way again. And uh, you know, credit to Michael Van Gerwen, he's been under it the last few weeks hasn't played his best stuff he'd admit that in the Premier League but he did say all the way through there's no point playing well in March and April you've got to play well on the finals now he's done that he needs the champ again Here's time to meet the Lions. great spectacle for Welsh starts here Gary Price breezes into the final The sheer drama of darting poetry. Michael Van Gerwen edges past Michael Smith in a thriller. The curtain about to come down on an epic 2023 Premier League darts campaign. It's simply sensational. And Michael Van Gerwen is in seventh heaven at the O2 Arena. And he's done it with a dominant darting demolition of the tabletop of Gerwin Price.